Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Friday, September 2nd. And we have the pack New Holland TX 5.9, TC 4.9, and TC 5.9. This is a pack of three harvesters, as you can see, three harvesters. <clears throat> And it uh, comes with uh, a header in this pack. So four pieces in this pack. Let's have a look at it first in vehicles and harvesters. And here they are. The TC 4.9, 5.9, and TX 5.9. Now, if you notice, they have slightly different... Um, uh, c c horsepower and variable, uh, horsepower and speed and capacities. I can, I've lost for words. Um, <clears throat> the TC 4.9 and TC 5.9, there's a bit of a jump. And from the 5 point TC to the TX, I'm not really sure what the difference is there, but we'll check it out. First, we'll look at the uh, TC 4.9. It starts at uh, 223 horsepower, 400 liters of fuel, 26 miles per hour. So the quickest of the three, 6,050 liters capacity for the hopper, 11.6 tons. Now we have Continental Mich Mich Michelin, <laughs> Michelin, Trillberg, Verdestein, Lizard, and Continental. I'm inventing new words as we go. Uh, wide. So <laughs> we'll set up in Continental, and I do believe they're all the same, but we'll look at them. Wide, wides with weights, that's rear weights. <clears throat> we have a transport option. Transport with weights. Twins, nice. Twins with weights. And a crawler truck, that's very nice. Looks very ricey. <laughs> crawler with weights, and back to wide. So the crawler with uh, weights, crawler truck, uh, with weights 3500 bucks so not bad for an extra wheel um option let's see the twins with weights is actually even a little bit less very nice i like that option too uh window tint you have uh four stages of window tint uh and you have the option for an additional monitor which is literally only something that you can look at while you're in the cab does nothing else 1200 dollars rim color you can be have white, you can have be, you can have be white or black. Um, no extra charge there. Uh, so moving on to the TC 5.9. Uh, uh, so that was 120,005. Now we're going up, bumping up to 190,000 at 272 horsepower. 480 liters of fuel, a little bit slower at 24 miles per hour, uh, and but more capacity, 7750. Uh, for liters and a little heavier 13.8 <clears throat> uh, Continental we also have the uh, All the same. Oh, yes, I didn't go through all the Michelin and everything but they're they're all they're all exactly the same for each model uh, They're all the same tire options uh, For every model there isn't any differences between um, The tire brands that I could see uh, this has got the ricey look type of tire to it, the Lizard. And back to Continental. Of course, you have the uh, window tint, additional monitor, and wheel color again. So all, look, all of the um, um, configurations are, are the same. Now moving on to TX 5.9. Um, everything looks exactly the same, so I'm not exactly sure... What the difference? I'm sure there is some difference. There is a different model, so, but the uh, wheel brands are all the same. The wheel choices are literally exactly the same. I couldn't really find, yeah, I couldn't find any differences between the options and, and, and so forth. So, um, a little odd. Uh, let's uh, turn our help window on here uh yes the uh harvester header is under headers <clears throat> pretty 
pretty sure it's going to be near the end for there it is tx32 header twenty thousand dollars no uh options to configurate it differently um eight oh yes slot count oh that's not the uh tx that's not the one that we have it is there it is the new holland tx so the superflex 20 foot no it is not the tx32 header sorry dear dear i do have the right one out there it's a superflex 20 foot thirty four thousand dollars yes still no options for that um six miles per hour six meters in width it is uh eight slots and if we're looking at slot counts for the harvesters 11 slots each yes i'm gonna get a little mixed up this morning however there we have it so now what i'm going to do is I, we're going to get these beauties out in the field and test them out um and see if there's any issues with them so we'll be right back all right so we're in the field and uh, let's hop in and uh, start her up and have a quick look at uh, how it operates. And then we'll show you um, the details um, of the different uh, options, shall we say. Let's disable that straw swath and show you uh, how it spreads. There we go. Kind of a pretty standard spread for an older New Holland, such as this. Right, so let's get that out. Let's get the pipe out. Pipe? The pipe out? Out and about? Um, <laughs> let's get our truck here. And uh, take a look at the unload speed. And then we're going to look at all the lollipop uh, options on this, uh, on this particular harvester. So we're going to stop it here. We're going to jump in and pull pull ahead here and watch that. Not too bad. Speed's pretty good. It's, it's, I mean, it is a smaller tank on here, so it's not... Uh, oh, it looks like our other, uh, other fellow is full there. That's the larger tank, so we can check that out in a little bit as well. But whilst we have... Uh, whilst we are in this one, let's uh, drop the... So, there are a couple of um, vehicle operations that you you will only see if you drop the header on. Uh, if we take a look inside, that's how it looks like. It's, oh, very nice. Headliner has a nice, nice color and pattern to it that's a little bit different. Kind of like a material, woven material type um, look to it. An itty bitty teeny no that's a light i thought that was a skylight is it a skylight no it's not a skylight it's a it's a light right okay uh we got lights we got beacons all the normal stuff we got signals signals right okay so now on to the things you can do with it l1 now this is the one if i show you see we have uh, the right stick up and down left and right if I pull forward and hook this up, hook up our header, uh, those options do not appear, although they, yeah, because those options are taken over by the header. Ah, there we go. If I have the actual vehicle highlighted, it will do it. If I have the header highlighted, you have the header tools. So let's just leave that on there then. <laughs> All right, L1 with the vehicle highlighted right stick now this is well maybe it's best uh viewed inside l1 and right stick right and left you can adjust your mirror left to right if we look over to our left if you want to look over to the left of the cabin l1 and right stick up and down moves that mirror yeah not uh, either way, uh, I don't really see anything. It is a real reflex reflection, reflection, reflection. However, I don't know if you're going to be able to really use them for anything. Hmm. All right. So that out of the way. 
Uh, we have your pipe out, of course, like so. And uh, yes, your normal uh, stuff like that. R1, right stick, uh, right to left. Opens up that little flap on top. I don't think I've seen uh, any harvester do that yet. So that's kind of neat. Uh, up and down, uh, yes. R1 up and down, adjust the tilt on your steering wheel for your driving comfort. Uh, L1 and R1 left, uh, that opens the door, and right stick up and down, I forgot, oh yes, the ladder, you can, you can pull the ladder up. Get it out of the way, so less collisions with your ladder. Right, and so that is the same for all three, uh, for all three harvesters. Uh, now let's get this dumped out. And um, let's go over and unload this one, because this one has a uh, higher capacity. So we just want to take a look at uh, how fast... Oh, there we go. That's with the hopper up. Uh, where is it? Well, there it is. Uh, with that open, you can see the uh, how, f how full your grain is. Oh, come on. Let's back it up. There we go. And so our unload speed here with the 7,500 liter um, hopper is as you can see now. Now, of course, you can um, attach other headers to these. You don't have to use the one that came with this pack, uh, such as a corn header or, or such. Uh, something appropriate to the horsepower for this vehicle. And that is, uh, there are a multitude of different headers, uh, even uh, New Holland headers out there that uh, um, that you can use. So, um, and then let's see here. Yeah, this fellow's just chunking along here with the uh, soybeans, doing a fine job. And that's pretty much it. They seem, oh, this one has the tracks. So I had one with tracks, one with uh, the dual wheels, and one with just the um, standard wheels. And they seem to all work as they should and operate properly. No issues that I have found. And um, yeah, so a nice little pack. That is your pack New Holland TX 5.9. TC 4.9 and TC 5.9 by Agrotono. I forgot to say that at the beginning. This is by Agrotono. 28.83 megabytes to download. i am just got everything backwards today. Uh, eight slots for the uh, header and 11 slots each for the uh, harvesters. I'm Lily Farm Guy. And remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now. <laughs>